What we're looking at here is what we call the bacterioscope, which is a system that we developed to look at bacterial colonies and their fluorescence as a function of magnetic fields. What we can do is to take images that only look at the fluorescence of the bacteria. There's a filter in the, in the lens system of the camera. And down there we have an electromagnet that we can use to produce any field that we want. And in this last experiment that we coded, we can do a ramp of magnetic fields. So basically investigate how different intensities of magnetic field change the fluorescence compared to the baseline where we apply no field at all. Okay, on the computer here, we have the raw data. We haven't subtracted any background or anything. As you can see, there's an up and down in what is the fluorescence intensity of a one particular bacterial colony. And this is over time. And uh, every time you see the fluorescence drop, that is because we apply a field. Applying a field makes these proteins, which are called Maglov2 proteins, fluoresce less with respect to their baseline when we apply no field at all. The change in fluorescence changes with the different pulses of magnetic field. And that is because we are starting from, in this case, a value of 20 millitesla, and then gradually going down two milliteslas at a time until we get zero in the center. And then we ramp up again all the way to 20 millitesla. And we do this because we want to investigate basically how much we can change the fluorescence, which is what we call magnetosensitivity, as a function of magnetic field in one single experiment.